In this example, we will be evaluating the square root of 83 by rounding it to the nearest tenths place value. To do this, we want to look at perfect squares nearby to 83. An example of this is 9 squared, which is 81. We can also look at 10 squared, which is 100. 83 lies between 81 and 100. So, we can write the following inequality. The square root of 81 is less than the square root of 83, which is less than the square root of 100. And this is true because 81 is less than 83, which is less than 100. Now we can simplify. The square root of 81 becomes 9 because 9 squared is 81. The square root of 100 becomes 10 because 10 squared is 100. Now that we can see that the square root of 83 is between 9 and 10, we can approximate the square root of 83 to the nearest tenths place by looking at decimals between 9 and 10. Because 83 is a little bit closer to 81 than it is to 100, we'll start with values closer to 9 than 10. So let's try 9.2. 9.2 times 9.2 will give us 9.2 squared. Let's multiply this. 2 times 2 is 4. 9 times 2 is 18. Add our 0. 9 times 2 is 18. Add the 1. 9 times 9 is 81 plus 1 is 82. We add these together, we get 84.64, which is close to 83, but it's a little bit over. Let's try 9.1 times 9.1. 1 times 1 is 1. 9 times 9, or 9 times 1 is 9. Add our 0. 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times 9 is 81. We add these together, we end up getting 82.81. So, we can see that 82.81 is closer to 83 than 84.64. So, this 9.1, representing 9.1 squared, gives us something closer to 83. Therefore, we can approximate the square root of 83 as about 9.1.